Hello and welcome to the 36 tutorial in the Bootstrap Free series. In this part we're going to be looking at nav disabled links. We'll be using the source code from the 33rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a nav setup. Bootstrap provides a way to disable nav buttons so they can't be clicked. This could be useful in a real life example if certain functionality is only available if you sign in maybe a profile page. Um, an alternative is not to display it at all, but this is also another option. To implement this is extremely simple. You just obviously got to open up your HTML file in some form of text editor. And then all you need to do is add a simple class. If you go to your unordered list, right down here, you don't add it to your unordered list because obviously you don't want the entire thing disabled, you add it to your list item. So I want the contact us to be disabled. So what, what I have to do is add a class. As a class doesn't, doesn't exist, I have to add an extra one. Uh, so I'm going to put equals disabled. Save that. And now if we just run this in our web browser, I can see it's being disabled. We When we hover over these, they have a hover state. The actual color of the text slightly changes, and also the mouse cursor changes as well. Whereas this one, the mouse cursor changes, but it changes to a little circle with a line through it, which indicates something wrong, where you can't go through, you stop, you can't click it basically, and I can't do anything with it. It's that simple. Obviously, there is still a what's it called? There's still an ahref. Obviously, you would naturally want to get rid of that ahref or make that point somewhere else if this is true. As an extra task, implement this in a nav with tabs instead of pills. Also see what happens if you add disabled class to a list item which has the active class like this one right here. The first one has a class of active, just see what happens if you add it to it. The next tutorial will cover nav with drop downs. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. There's hundreds of more videos like this one completely free visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.